this is Dave from Climbing Gear Reviews and today we're looking at the Hagloss Rock 35 pack. This is the 2013 update on a pack I reviewed for UK climbing quite a while back, probably 2010, so it's been three years. Uh, at that point I said it was quite heavy uh, but it had some fantastic features and I'm glad to see that uh, they've changed some of it around and lightened it around somewhat. So uh, let's start with the uh, lid. The lid's changed a little bit from the 2013. It had an overspill lid and now it's just got an aqua coil. So there's plenty of room in there for hats, gloves, buffs, cameras, all the sorts of things you might want quick access to there. Uh, quite handily, and I noticed that in the 2010 one, there's this tiny little pocket at the back which is really handy for keeping things like uh, sunblock, lip block, emergency head torches uh, i keep a compass in there anything i'm going to want a handy to Im immediately you know so i can hang that on the belay quite happily and that has a little cover that comes over and tucks away there there's a really handy extremely large grab handle that's been fantastic this winter to be honest with you for clipping into belays generally manhandling i can get my ice axe Alpine axe down the back there without any problem trying to find some small one so it's been really good uh, while I've got the back open here uh, one of the one of the great things um, that the other pack had that they seem to have lost this time was they had the, uh, a, a dedicated strap there and I'm a big fan of putting my watch in there when I'm on a route so that I've got the time because if I've got my cuffs up like that you can see I've got to undo that take my gloves off in order to access my watch so that was really handy for pinning things like my GPS things like that. Uh, I'm a bit sad to see that they've lost that because I thought that was a great feature. Just need, They had it on the hard rock, if you look at our review of the hard rock, they'd had a really good beefed up version of that, but they've not done that now. Uh, a good back system, really nice back system. It has an aluminium stay in the back, which I've taken out. I, I usually do, I don't see. Uh, I'm, not carrying, I'm not carrying those sorts of uh, weights in order to justify having a stay down the back, but I do know some people like them. And they have kept this uh, lumber part here for holding in just look here for tucking away the the hip belt when you're climbing but this is a lovely little feature here so once you're climbing you tuck those in there and uh, they're tucked away nicely they don't have to hang around you don't have to clip them around the back all that sort of thing the lid comes apart from a whole one piece system we can see that there that's there that's there it all comes down through this little loop and back up through there so I can take all that off there are no hanging straps then when I've taken the lid off the lid comes off quite neatly that also acts for shoulder strap adjustment there absolutely fine and you can tighten the lid down on there like that so you've got two adjusters at that point there a neat feature one thing when I had the first version these eventually came loose and I can't really see any bar tacking there. I'd like to see that area beefed up in the next uh, update on there. Um, it didn't come apart completely, but it was an area that I think needed looking at. Uh, and I can't see any tacking inside, so it's difficult to say at the moment whether they have bar tacked it or w whether they haven't. So we've got all the pockets. We've got the lid there. Lid comes off. Another neat feature, you can tell that people have really thought about this pack is that down there one clip and then I'm adjusting the pack while I'm standing up and looking down, down at it that's a little great little feature bit of a tucking there okay uh, I never use that but people if you want it, if you want it tucked out of the way it's quite happily I mean it's not, you're never going to do that with gloves on to be honest but it's a you know it's just a neatening tactic if, if you feel you want it there Ice axe holders there, ice axe holders there with the sleeve design on the ice axe holders. I've been using that for a while now and this seems to be a pretty standard uh, setup for this type of thing. I quite like that uh, rather than loops. Uh, again, I know it adds a little bit of weight but it does neaten the system up quite quite nice, quite neatly when I've got the ice axes on there. And you'll see in the review that th there are some pictures of it uh, in, in, in use. So undoing another big pocket, another quite large pocket inside the lid here got a key holder and in there keep a wallet a phone and all the other elements that i don't particularly want to keep for climbing during the day uh but i you know i just want to have it in a pocket there so i can zip that away forget all about those 
good rope holder. We've got quite a big beefy uh, 9mm 60 meter rope here today. Um, but you can see it's holding it off really nicely there. We just take that on there and then we can take the rope off at that point there. And then we've got this adjusting system that holds there and holds there, holds out there, one handed closure. It's quite neat, it looks a bit delicate, but uh, it hasn't come apart yet. So, uh, you know, it's quite, quite good like that. And then we've got plenty of room in here for all the climbing kit I need. So I've got my there, shoes, helmet, harness, all my climbing gear. Uh, I've bought all this climbing gear myself. Uh, I've not shared it out to so if I was sharing it out, I'd probably be able to get the rope in there as well. As well as much. So it's got plenty. To be honest, I've been using it uh, most of the winter now for winter climbing. I've got everything in this pack, completely everything. So a nice size, it's got an extra bit of a skirt on here. That's included in the 35 litres. That's why they're looking a little bit uh, a little bit big. We've got some reflective patches here for uh, when you're following me in the dark or you're following your mate in the dark there. And plenty of reinforcing areas. I would say that uh, oh, inside, well, uh, another neat feature. Look, a key fob there if you're taking the pack off. So if you're taking the lid off and you still need a key fob, you've got a key fob there in order to clip a key you can't key onto whilst climbing. And uh, a hydration pouch there. I like to keep my map and other bits and bobs in there. I'm not a particular fan of uh, hydration systems, so that's pretty good there. So all in all. Uh, a well-featured pack that uh, will serve you well come rock climbing, come alpine, come ski touring, come winter climbing. So 